Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. Good evening, everybody. We are going to start off tonight with this beautiful picture of a uh, fall foliage here. This is out of Glendive from Sandy Dara. Now, this is the way I had a tree in my yard look just like that this morning. When I went home for the dinner break, all these leaves here, they had all fallen down, just about all of them. Because of the, the very cold temperatures, it kind of froze things off a little bit last night, and that's what we had. Take a look at this picture here. This is a picture from uh, Karen McNabb Johnston. Uh, this is in Hardin. She says, it looks like there's a big old monster out her window. It does kind of look like some big old fish monster, doesn't it? Huh? Well, thanks for sending that in, Karen. Here's the way it looks in Billings right now. This is a time-lapse uh, shot. As some of the cloudy skies that rolled in. We had some showers move in from the southwest corner of the state, and these are those guys there, the cloudy skies with it. Right now, it's still light rain falling with 45 degrees. We have a west wind at 12 miles per hour and because we're below 50 degrees, the wind chill factor now does come into play. It feels like 39 degrees out there. Now, as you'll see here, 54 has been our high today. 64 is a normal high, the record 90, set back in 1963. And what about precipitation? Well, we've had eight hundredths of an inch of rain so far. Uh, when we stopped taking this figure, it showed that on the month we were at five hundredths, but then we've added another three hundredths. That has not been figured into this figure, so uh, or the, this one too. But as you'll notice, we're starting to pick up and we're getting to catch up. Uh, 19 is where we need to be right now for the 30 year average for the month. Uh, we're now at Eight hundredths of an inch, and you add uh, another five hundredths. This should be at fourteen, fourteen oh eight. So yeah, we're a little ahead of normal there. We're doing well. Eleven point five four is where we need to be currently. Our temperatures are basically into the thirties and forties out in the west. It is a little bit cooler over at Bozeman. Back here in eastern Montana, look at all the thirties. Forty five at Billings, forty five at Miles City, but thirty eight at Glasgow. Jordan thirty eight right now. And these are our reported highs for the day. Uh, mostly forties and fifties, but Haver, who started at six degrees this morning, they actually warmed up to thirty three. Did it get above freezing, but just for briefly, and now temperatures are starting to cool down uh, behind that. So here's what we have tonight. We had a little batch of moisture move into the Billings area. It brought us some spotty rain showers. It's all part of a much larger upper level low pressure cell here, and this thing is just kind of wrapping this moisture around that low pressure cell. And so here's what it looks like up here at the surface uh, in the upper level. So you notice we had that upper level low here. It came in from Reno last night, made its way in towards Idaho and southwestern Montana. Now this will continue to sit and spin that way for uh, throughout most of tomorrow. By uh, 6 p 6 a.m., it'll still be here. Then by 6.30, we're still looking at some spotty rain showers around it. But I think this high pressure cell here will keep pushing it back away from us. So we're looking at generally drying conditions by the time Friday and uh, Thursday and Friday get here. And then on Friday afternoon, we have this warm front moving in, high pressure here, pushing air into the state, low pressures here, pulling it out. So look for 40 to 50 mile per hour winds moving in here on Friday, but it will warm us up because of that warm front. In the meantime, tonight temps will cool back down to the 20s and 30s out west. Back here, mostly 30s for overnight lows tonight with clearing skies. Still a few spotty showers around Billings. Also Red Lodge and maybe some scattered rain and snow showers over in uh, Teton Park and Yellowstone Park. Then for tomorrow, back to the 50s, some low 60s with mostly sunny skies. Far west, also 40s and 50s out there. But for Billings tonight at midnight, it will be a 41 degrees still, a 50% chance for some additional rain showers. 36 degrees in the morning, it'll be 47 by noontime, 54 at 6 p.m. with mostly sunny skies and dry skies. Next seven days looks like this, 57 degrees on Wednesday. That happens sometime during the afternoon. It'll be 65 degrees on Friday, 64 Saturday with a 20% chance for showers late in the day on Saturday. It's a new cold front, and that'll cool us back down into the 40s and 50s as we head into most of next week. That's weather. Let's go back to the desk.